So we're here at the Embedded World 2019 in the highest. So who are you? Hello, I'm Jonathan Miller, founder and president of Diamond Systems from the United States. And uh, right here behind, uh, it says 30 years. Yes, it's been 30 years since I started this company, and we're still around 30 years later. We're still doing our part to help make the world a better place. And um, you just picked up an award, or? Well, uh, this is, uh, I'm very proud to receive my first award. It only took 30 years to get my first one. We'll see how long it takes to get my second. Best anyway, in show? Yes, we won best in show for this new product called the Elton Carrier Board for NVIDIA HDX Xavier module. It's a supercomputer designed for embedded applications. So who, who get, with, is from what? This is the Open Systems Publishing uh, Company. Open Systems? Yes. And uh, so we, you won it for this? We won, we won the, uh, the category of AI and machine learning for this new product called Elton. So what is this? Elton is the carrier board for the NVIDIA um, AGX Xavier supercomputer. Here is the on the back side you see the connector for the uh, AGX Xavier module, which is a high high performance computer module with uh, 30 teraops of performance. 30 teraops. It sounds kind of high. It's quite high. I would say it's anywhere from 10 to 100 times the performance of a typical Core i7 processor, depending upon the application. Is it running on an ARM? It is their own GPU technology. What they've done is taken their graphics processing technology and moved it into an embeddable form factor. It's not an SOC with an ARM on it. It's an SOC uh, on a board, yes, with an ARM complex as well. Yeah. It's a combination of a GPU plus a six, uh, eight core uh, ARM complex. So that's uh, for very important uh, AI kind of applications? Well, anything with super high computing, if you have, for example, image processing, real-time video acquisition, and object detection, and processing, and decision making, image recognition, object detection, um, any kind of high compute intensive application, for example, genetic medicine or geno genomics, things like that. So we've been working with uh, NVIDIA for 30 years or no? How long? Uh, this is actually very new for us. We just started working with them about four months ago. So this you is haven't worked new, with NVIDIA uh, before? No, this is, brand new, this is a brand new product line. So how can you get this done in four, four months? It's like magic. So what is, what is the special knowledge you have to make this work happen? Well, you have to have really good design practices, really yeah. good PCB yeah. layout uh, engineers, really good design reviews, really good supply chain management to buy the components. So um, like uh, uh, clean design? Well, actually what you're seeing here is a physical demo. Their actual product is in the lab still. And uh, This is our trade show version. How soon available? It's available approximately April. April, is it? 2019. Price? For for uh, high high uh, demand uh, clients. Yeah, customers. the total product, uh, the carrier board plus the module itself, will be around two thousand dollars, quantity one, which is pretty comparable to a Core i7 based SPC. Uh, so for the same price as Core i7 and the same size, you're getting about ten times the performance. Ten times the performance of an i7. Yes. To do uh, all kinds of advanced. Whatever like you're this, doing this today. This could go in a self-driving car or. Exactly. So this is ready for things. the German, we're in Germany, ha, 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 ha. German car makers yes. uh, looking at it? I'm sure they are, yes, for many reasons, not just for the performance, but also for the things like we mentioned earlier with the vision processing, object detection, and so on. And uh, missiles? It can go in anything. Technology is a tool, it depends on how you use it. You are in missiles and tanks and we stuff. We do, uh, we don't do any missiles, but we definitely do military technology, yes. Tanks? Uh, yes, we're very well known for that. You're well known for being in the tanks. And what else are you, are you showing here at the show? So uh, this is actually our complete lineup of video products. We have uh, carriers for the uh, for the uh, Jetson. Actually, I can show you here a comparative size of the two modules. This right here is the TX2. This is a 3D printed sample. This yeah. is a TX2 module, okay? And that's where the connector would go. And this is the Xavier module, which is the higher performance. This is 30 tera ops. And then um, uh, that's that's the, see there's the video logo that came out. And then this is the uh, two to five tera ops. So we have a couple of carrier boards for the for the uh, TX2, Ziggy, or Ziggy Stardust, and Jethro here. And if you look on the back side, you can see there's the connector for the module. This is a nice, nice board for vehicle applications. It has rugged connectors for latch, latching, connectors for vibration resistance. It has a lot of spendability. It has a, uh, a cellular modem socket, so you can plug in those for the stand as well. If it has analog and digital I.O. circuit over here, so that uh, you can do some real world uh, data position and control. And then here we have two modules for the, uh, for the Xavier. This one is called uh, uh, Stevie, and this one um, is basically an interposer board. You put the Xavier module on the back side, and you put one of these carriers on the top side over here. So it gives you a way to marry the existing carriers to the new technology. So it's a whole family of uh, a whole family of NVIDIA products. NVIDIA compatible products. Yes. We even have a box level system if you'd like to see that. What? A box level system. Yeah. So this is our Ziggy box. 
Ziggy Box has the Ziggy carrier board inside of it, and it has the, Jet, the uh, Jetson TX2 module inside. So this is a small uh, application-ready uh, development product, or actually even a deployable product. On the, on the back side, uh, you can see the DIN rail bracket. What is that? DIN rail for mounting. So you can put it in a DIN rail to uh, mount it in a cabinet alongside other electronics. This is a, 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 a very well-known standard for um, industrial applications. Right. And then we have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well as data acquisition on here. So this is ready to deploy a complete solution with Jetson technology nice. for AI at the edge, et cetera. Just for comparison, this is our Ziggy box, and this is our uh, product for our standard x86 technology. So look at the difference in size. This product is about uh, half the price, about one-fifth the size, and about 10 times the performance of what's inside here. 10 times more power here than here. Yes, and half the price. So um, approximately the same power consumption. So. I bet, I guess you really enjoy working with ARM technologies. I just love doing things that are like path breaking, that are bringing new value to, to the marketplace. You know, the, since the beginning of the company has always been about trying to provide better value to customers by providing better features for the same price or the smaller size. So this is yep. a better value proposition. So this is a great way to go to the next milestone yep. in terms of, um, of so, price performance and so uh, on. Can you, can you talk a little bit about your company? So, so people are working sure. on the... Sure. Uh, Diamond Systems is a U.S. company. We're fo focused in uh, PC-104, I.O., and small form factor. Uh, we do a lot of rugged design, so our products are generally used in vehicle applications or applications where there's a high I.O. content. Uh, so do you have uh, some really cool engineers working with you, or...? We have an uh, international team of engineering in the United States and India, and also we have manufacturing in uh, the United States and, and Asia. And a lot of uh, customer requests all the time? We do a lot of custom. I would say about uh, 50 to 60% of our business is custom in some fashion. Whether it's a full custom design or simply a modification of connectors or something like that. We do a lot of custom design. In this industry, everybody wants something different. It's very, very hard to build one product that satisfies all needs. So you have to be ready to uh, customize or adapt your solution to a customer's applications.